Hello Martlesham and Brightwell Guides. For one of this week's activities we're going to ask you to have a go at completing your guiding history badge. This falls under the blue Know Yourself theme and I believe some of you have completed enough unit meeting activities and skills builders to almost get your theme award. All you need to do is complete this badge and you should have enough minutes and activities to get that theme award so that's brilliant. The guiding history badge falls into three clauses. I'm going to explain what you need to do for clauses one and two, and then we're going to post the information for clause three on the Martlesham District Facebook page, and we can email the information for you if you prefer. Once you've done all three clauses, if you can send us some pictures or photographs or videos of what you've done, that'll be enough for you to be able to be issued with your badge if you've done it all correctly. So I'm going to show you what to do for clauses one and two. I'm going to show you what I would do myself if I were completing them to give you a bit of an idea of how to do the badge. And we'll start with those now. So for clause one, you're looking at guiding spirit. Many guys of the past weren't free to enjoy guiding in the same way that you do. Did you know that in some countries, guiding was suppressed for political reasons and guides had to hide their uniforms? For this activity, we'd like to ask you to think of six guiding related items that you would hide to keep the spirit of guiding alive. How would you hide them and why would you hide them? If you can present your ideas in a creative way, that would be really good. So I'm going to show you what items that I would hide if I were going to do so. I'm presenting them in the creative way of a video, which I'm posting on Facebook, which is quite unusual for me. So the items that I would choose are over here on my table and they are... Here's item number one. This is the second Martlesham Heath Guys unit flag. I thought that would be a good item to hide because we would be able to use it for ceremonies in the future. It's a really important item that we have um, for our unit. The next items that I would hide away are some unit meeting resources. So these are some UMA cards so that when we meet, we've got some fun activities that you can choose that we can complete as part of the guiding programme and still walk to work towards our theme awards. The next thing that I would hide away are some guiding recipes. I think it would be a good idea to put in my recipe book some ideas for maybe camp pudding, dampers, and one of our favourites that we make it guide s'mores so that we can remember what we need to do and we can refer to that if we need to whilst we're hiding away. The next item I would hide are some words and maybe a CD for some campfire songs. Unlike Joe, I'm not so good at remembering the words and the tunes for all these songs, so I think it'd be really important for me to be able to hide these away so we could sing them if we're feeling a bit low or we need a bit of cheering up. The next item I've got here is my camp blanket. As you can see here, I've got some of my badges on there. I've got some badges from when I was a guide, some ones that I've been gifted. It's a nice warm blanket, but also it's got lots of good memories and lots of things to keep the guiding spirit alive. The final item that I would hide away would be the unit parachute because we have lots of fun when we use the parachute at guides and um, it's one of my favourite things that we use for meetings. So for clause two, what we're going to look at is some blitz cooking. So what you need to do for that is have a look in your store cupboard at home. So see what items you've got there. See if you've got some things that maybe you could make some wartime recipes from. So you might have a tin of Spam and you could make some Spam fritters. You might have some corned beef that you could make a corned beef hash from. Or alternatively, you could have a look and see if you've got some items in there that you could use to make a meal. At the moment, we're all in lockdown and we can't go to the supermarket as much as we might like to. So I've gone into my pantry and I've had a look for some items that I can make a meal from. I'm going to show you what I've got here. Then later on, I'm going to cook a meal and I'll post a picture of what I've made from my items. I'm a vegetarian, so my items are not quite as exciting as Spam and corned beef, but nonetheless, I'll show you what I've got. So here I have some rice. Now, I'm not going to use this in the microwave because I won't have one available, but I'm going to use the rice to mix in with my items at the end. I've got some chickpeas. I've got some garlic. I've got some olive oil. Some curry powder, I've got some chopped tomatoes, and I've got some red lentils. So, what I'm going to make with these exciting items is a veggie curry, and um, I'll make that in a pan. Hopefully, I'll get out one of my cooking stoves and do it on a cooking stove in the spirit of guiding, and I'll post a picture of what I've done later on so you can have a look. So, that's all you need to do for clauses one and two of the guiding history badge. Look out for clause three on the Facebook page later on. Thanks girls, hope you have fun completing the clauses, see you soon and stay safe.